This video will go through how to create a table for pipes and manholes within a network. Go to the Annotate tab and select Add Tables. Within Add Tables, we're going to go down to Pipe Network and we're just going to do one for the structures first. And our structure table creation box will appear. And we just want to make sure that we're on the correct network. So our network we want is going to be the road drainage. We can see that the table style is going to be the simple summary structure list. And if I click on the preview here, it will show me what the parameters of that are, the properties of it is. And I can go in and I can edit this table by clicking on the edit button. And then within this dialog box, we have the information tab, we have data properties, we have display and summary. Clicking on the data properties, I can see that there is within this column or within this table, we'll have structure name, structure details. And I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to go OK. I'm then going to click OK, and I'm going to place my table somewhere around here. And that's how you create a table for the structures. And now I'm going to create a table for the pipes. Go back to your Annotate tab, go to your Labels and Tables panel, select Add Tables, and we're going to go down again to Pipe Network and select Add Pipe. Selecting Add Pipe, we are going to maybe stick with the pipe set now information. What information is going to be included there? I'm just going to click on the edit button and I can see that's going to be my pipe name, the size, pipe length, slope, invert and uh, end invert. And I'm happy with all that information. I'm going to go OK and go OK. And then now what I've done is I've only selected it for the culvert. So this information is just displaying the culvert. If I hover over the culvert, I will see that it is pipe 22 which corresponds with this table. I'm now going to create again another table for the pipe network and it's going to be on pipes. But what I want to do this time is I want to make sure it's on the network of road drainage. Select road drainage from the select network drop down. Again, the table style I want to see is pipe setting out. And if you wanted to add or if you wanted to take away any information in here, you can just click on the Add button here. By clicking on this Add button, it will add in a new column and just left click on the green plus and you'll see a new column has been added in there. What information we can add into these tables, we just double click under this automatic and you will see that you get this dialog box appearing. Inside here, what we can do is we can add in any bit of property that's in this drop down list. So if you wanted to add in the total slope across span or the maximum cover, I might just add in the maximum cover. And then you have to make sure you click on this arrow button and bring that information into this black box. Go OK. And we're just going to call this double click on the hidden cell up here. And we're going to call this max cover. And go OK. And go OK. And go. Make sure again it's on road drainage. Go OK. And then I'm going to select it somewhere around here. You will notice that the max cover has also been displayed on this table because they're the same type of table. And now we can see we have all that information in there and that's how you create a table for the network.